Hi guys! Today we are going to have a slightly different video because I'm not going to review a new makeup product. I'm actually going to show you the three initial uh, red velvet lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge and uh, the way they um, show up on me. So if you don't know who Lisa Eldridge is, um, you probably are not very interested on makeup or you don't uh, see many YouTube videos on makeup because she is like a world-renowned makeup artist. Um, she was one of the first uh, professional makeup artists to um, place a tutorial uh, videos on YouTube. She is Lancome's creative director. She has presented TV shows. She works with celebrities on photo shoots a runway or for red carpet events. She was the creative mind behind the amazing makeup on the latest Tim Burton movie, uh, Dumbo. She wrote a, a book on um, the history of makeup called Face Paint. I mean, her makeup videos uh, were the first ones that I ever saw. I clearly remember seeing her recreation of Audrey Hepburn's um, look from Breakfast at Tiffany's about eight years ago and uh, I have not stopped uh, seeing um, her videos and learning with her uh, ever since. Lisa is truly one of the nicest people on YouTube. And I find that her commitment to her makeup passion is truly inspiring. She released her first products last year about this time. Um, a limited edition collection of three red lipsticks which she named True Velvet Lipsticks. I found the, the whole concept very original. Unfortunately, when I tried to, to buy them, uh, they were already sold out, but I was able to get them in the second release in the summer. Lisa has just communicated through her Instagram account and email that uh, the six new shades that she will be releasing in November will be available for pre-order on November the 3rd on her website. And together with those six new shades, she will be re-releasing uh, the three reds. So I thought that it would be a good idea to show you how they look like um, on my skin and uh, to give you as much information as possible to help you decide if you are going to get them or not. So the lipsticks come in a very nice packaging of gold and white. The lipstick in itself has um, a matte golden uh, casing with magnetic closure, which is very nice indeed, with her logo on the top. And what is very special about the lipstick, which gave, her, which gave it the name that it has, is the, the imprint on the outside of the bullet that gives it the impression of the texture of a velvet. What I also found very interesting about Lisa's products was that she, in the release video, explained what were the undertones of each of the lipsticks and to whom they would favor the most. And that was the first time that I saw that identification clearly explained, which was a concept that I saw afterwards on Uda Beauty and lately on Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude Lipsticks. And I think that it's something that the consumers do really like a lot, special in this distinction of nudes reds. I, I speak for myself. I think it's extremely helpful in this day and age when we buy a lot through the internet 
uh, when sometimes we don't have the possibility to swatch the lipsticks to be able to, to with that identification of cool, warm, neutral, being able to buy without being afraid of not working out. I'm going to swatch now the three lipsticks in order for you to see clearly the difference between the three shades. Velvet Morning is a bright orange red. Velvet Ribbon is a neutral red with a hint of blue. And Velvet Jazz is a darker red leaning on brown. As I hope you have seen on the photo, this is a matte formula but not a flat matte. It has a slight sheen, exactly like the velvet fabric. It is long-lasting, um, but not in a dry way. It is very creamy during a good amount of time. And because it's so pigmented, it stains the lips, which means when it starts to fade, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't age badly. It simply starts to fade away until only the stain remains. Because I lean on the cooler side of skin undertones, with the Velvet Morning, um, which is the orange red, I prefer to use it as a stain, as you can see here. And uh, I also like to apply it in the cheeks uh, as a blush. And I find that it gives me a very bright um, look. I like to use it when one of those days that I'm feeling a little bit more down. This just uh, enlivens the face. But I will show you how it looks when I put it completely like full on. It looks like this in me. This is a very vibrant red that kind of red that looks amazing in warmer skins like a tomato red tomato tomato potato potato you know i reach out more for it in the summer um when my skin is less has a, a less cold tone to it and with a little bit of bronzer and contour and a peachy blush, I can pull this one out. So I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to place velvet uh, ribbon. I'm taking the lipstick very carefully because they are so pigmented. I don't want the color to um, get out of my... Um, how do you call this uh, line here on the lips? My vermilion border. I usually apply the lipsticks um, directly from the bullet and I don't use a lip liner. I like to use a very precise lip pencil. I confess that this one is my favorite. Mm. It's really creamy. We can slide the lips that's it, Velvet Ribbon. I'm going to apply Velvet Jazz now. I'm going to correct the borders. So in this is Velvet Jazz, like full on. I really like it. I use this one mainly um, when the weather starts to get cold and colder um, it's a beautiful color between red and brown perfect for fall I'm going to apply a little bit just touching my finger on the tip a little bit on my cheeks as much as you can see is super super pigmented one touch is enough for both cheeks so if we use velvet jazz in the cheeks it gives like a plummy pink color it's very pretty 
Um, if I had used the um, velvet uh, ribbon, it would have been like a very fresh pink. So, which of the lipstick colors do you like the best in me? Leave your vote in the comments below. I'm really interested to, to see what is your opinion. And that's it. I really hope you have liked it. I know it's not brand new, um, but I really wanted to leave this record of my appreciation for Lisa Heldridge's work and her lipsticks, these beautiful red ones. So I'll be back when she releases the six new shades with a new um, video about them and I will try them all in my lips but in the meantime I leave you with this one I hope you have enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and see you soon bye red lipsticks from Risa Releasing, re releasing. <laughs> it's that despite this world so sex, so this is a very brivent currently wearing is velvet morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.